Good night, everyone. Thank you for coming. Uh, my name is uh, Oleg Bogdanov, and uh, I am mobile product manager at Evolution Gaming. Uh, mobile in this context means I can work here, there, in London, in uh, Paris, in Malta. Okay, it was a joke. <laughs> um, anyone know Evolution Gaming? Have you heard about it? Have any friends working there? Uh, guys, please don't raise your hand if you're already working in Evolution. <laughs> Okay, just a few words uh, before we start our journey to the startup. Um, I work, my employee is Evolution Gaming and uh, we are making award-winning uh, uh, software and a really, really great product which you get consistently every five years in a row we get the, the best product of a year and the uh, best game uh, this year we get where our customers was voting. And um, I don't know if it's a surprise for you or not, but we are 1,300 people employed, and the majority are in Riga. So we're quite a big company in, uh, in Riga. And uh, beside the technology and the great, um, great technology and the challenging uh, task that we do, we have a great team. And I'm, I must say it's the most beautiful team in Riga. If you don't trust me, come, come to us, I will show you. OK, now I would, I would like to speak about uh, uh, my startup experience and and my question is uh, again to you audience uh, does any one of you has an idea to uh, do, do any one of you wants to start uh, his business anyone okay okay good so and uh, anyone already was in a startup before today has experience right Okay, few. I just would be very curious by the end of the session or end of the day, just let me know if uh, my experience has any, anything to do with your experience. I would be really glad if you can share this uh, feedback. Okay, uh, I will speak about, uh, not about all my startups and, and not all of these startups are my startups, but I participated in, in some of them. And uh, they are lying in uh, internet payment uh, in targeted marketing, uh, social network, uh, mobile application, and a social game and a game studio. And some little bit extra uh, toolbox and uh, some takeaway, some useful tips for a startup. It might be a little bit anthropology in general because uh, I am going to speak about startups which started uh, in the year 2000, so in millennium, so 15 years ago. So it's quite, quite a time passed by, but. Um, <coughs> But I believe the lessons that we learned that still make sense. And uh, I would uh, appreciate your feedback if it really does. Okay, the first startup I joined, the first my, uh, what I joined in 2000 as a developer and the first manager and a minor partner uh, was called EcoCard. Uh, it was an internet payment gateway, so to process the credit cards, it was early days of uh, internet. It's, uh, internet was at that time not as it is today, but it still uh, was very promising uh, direction to go. So um, we started as a payment gateway, and then it was get transformed to uh, logically to payment um, e-wallet, where you can have store your money uh, easily to pay everywhere with this money. So I think it's quite obvious, and we was competing with. Uh, PayPal, NetTeller, uh, MoneyBookers, now it's called Squirrel. So, and the uh, idea for the client is that you uh, add money to your account, uh, you can withdraw it anywhere, you can buy online anything you want. For the business, it means you can uh, get uh, money from the customers uh, easy way and uh, fast way and with low commissions, because if you speak about traditional payment like bank transfer, it takes days to get the money to account. If you speak about uh, uh, credit card, it's uh, risky, it's a big uh, charge for, for a client to accept this credit card. So we, this is uh, actually a very obvious and a great system to, to take uh, internet payments. And uh, today, uh, it's, uh, I have photo here from uh, ICE London, Excel London, 
uh, I show it's the biggest uh, gaming show in, uh, in London and uh, in the world where all the casinos, all the gaming, all the payments, everyone is there. If you're not there, no one knows about you. This is a great way to get your customers. And if I'd say it's not a ceiling yet, but it's a kind of top of the world business uh, place to be. If your business is, is there, you, it means you pay a lot of money, your, your business deserves it, and uh, you will get even more clients and even more money uh, to, to fuel your company. So I have a photo with uh, great guys and uh, it's a great team and uh, still part of them are there. And we have, uh, now we have uh, 20, 20 developers, uh, oh no, sorry, 20 people and this including <coughs> developer support and uh, so on. So this was about internet payment and uh, now section of a lesson learned from uh, this startup. So again, it was uh, started in the 2000, in the year 2000, millennium and uh, uh, I show you what it's uh, what is today, and uh, I didn't work all full time, but I roughly worked five seven years for for this company. And uh, my lesson learned: regulations. Uh, in a financial business, uh, it's kind of obvious uh, what you get regulated because it's a money. You want to to the government know what you have to do with your money, how to you have to store it, how to you have to. Um, calculate the currency exchange rates, so we know everything. They tell you exactly what you have to do, and it's uh, it's take you in the boundaries. Um, for any new startup that you are starting, uh, take into mind that uh, there could be regulations. It's not only financials. It's uh, it's about uh, uh, European Union saying you how you have to keep a personal data and so on. So it's a lot of things. Uh, if you start startup, make your homework, check it. Um, then lesson, next lesson is uh, reliability. Of course, you want uh, your startup and your business to be reliable. It means whenever customer sends you money or doing any actions, it's done. And uh, and this is a big challenge for for software, for architecture, for hardware, and the all the procedures what you have in your IT organization. Um, here is a, some example. What when we started, it was kind of cluster. So you want to make sure you bought an expensive server, and uh, you have a double fan, you have double power supply, your servers are cross connected. So no chance that uh, you get lost your information. And uh, also, it's, it's uh, regarding reliability regulations. Uh, take uh, your backup offsite. Make sure you have a, a warm and or a hot site where you can, if something happens, just. I don't know, it's a, even a big hosting, just closed. What you do? You have a great business, everything, all your money, investors. And what happens? So make sure you have offsite backup. Make sure you can restore your business quite, quite fast. OK, next lesson. Is it is OK so far? Are you with me? OK, excellent. Uh, next lesson is a fraud. If you grow your business, it does not mean obligatory to be uh, money uh, related to the money, but you will get attacked. Believe me, everyone will be get attacked. If it's uh, with the money, but we will try to steal your money. If it's uh, with uh, uh, just uh, your service become popular, you can get enemies. You you will get attacked with DDoS attacks, and people will come and send you email. Please transfer money here and there when we stop our DDoS attack. Just. I don't. I can give you exact cures how to solve it, but uh, think about it. Uh, as a fraud, what was related with the financial uh, system uh, and the credit card processing was that um, it's called char for credit cards. It's called chargeback. If you know, uh, it's mean if you pay something on the internet somewhere, and uh, after some time you can come back to your bank and say, my card was stolen. It was not me. Uh, and the bank is obliged to send money to you. So we got a lot. We had a lot of uh, chargebacks, and we have to deal with it. And um, the interesting finding was that some of the companies, or some of the banks, actually, uh, saying they have chargeback on behalf of their customers. So customers get the service, was happy, but the bank, knowing that uh, you pay money, just making money like this, they. They claim it's a chargeback and a fraud. So we was monitoring with banks, we were checking the statistic and the fraud management and trying to understand um, where it's come from. And uh, sometimes it's even easy to 
cut, block with customers, or minimize the uh, minimize the limits so it's, uh, you don't get impacted by by the fraud too much. Okay, next lesson from this uh, startup uh, was a legacy system. So after you wrote your first line of code, it's become legacy. Okay, and with this legacy you have to deal afterwards and uh, and this means sometimes you want to fix something or change your system somehow and you need 10 developers, 100 developers in days and uh, it's just becoming crazy. If you have a chance to address your legacy system or get the perfect system from the day one, I really you do because then you can be really agile and really have a great fast growing company. But if not, I, I, I wish you address it early because uh, the longer time it passed, the more code you create, the, the more legacy system become complex. And uh, it's actually, on a long run, it can kill your business. It's kill. So the um, long-term strategy. If you start your business, you can, of course, have to, you want to push your first prototype fast, but think in the future how you want to grow it, where you want to go. Because uh, if you don't know, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a pity. <laughs> and uh, every startup is, uh, can give you a chance for a new horizon. In this case, this was the first project and the first startup of the company today known as uh, Citico and the CityXM. Citico, yes. Yeah, you know Citico? No? Anyone here from Citico? All right. <laughs> yeah, there was such, such an author von Bismarck, and um, I don't know, was he a wise man or not? But anyways, I think it's good to learn from others and uh, from lesson learned. It's a section break, so next is uh, uh, mobile targeted marketing. Okay, it was uh, year 2007. I was IT manager, developer, administrator, and shareholders, but it's kind of universal uh, solder, so we would do everything. Um, so it was era of um, mobile phones, which was not smartphones yet. It was era of SMS, and the idea behind this project was that uh, as a shop or a restaurant, for example, you can search around uh, your location for the people who in general are interested in, uh, for example, healthy food, vegetarian. And uh, you can see immediately how many people are around you, subscribed, and uh, you can post them uh, direct uh, special for them, ads or a special offer. Come, come today for, for lunch, you get 50% uh, discount. And uh, you don't do it mass, uh, mass targeted, you don't buzzer everyone with, uh, uh, with a spam, you send it only to the people who subscribed it. And the people, they are, if they're willing, they subscribe what they're actually interested in. And uh, wherever it's, uh, uh, it was taken into account also if it's an, at home or you're at the office hours and what time uh, we can send you a message or not. So it's kind of in really interesting system that you can uh, subscribe uh, to the channel you want and get uh, only exactly what you're interested in. Okay, do you like the idea? Uh, again, as I told, it was era of uh, SMS, and uh, this was the, the coolest phone at that time. <laughs> so it was still not a smartphone, actually, with a WAP, uh, with a WAP internet. Um, so lesson learned from this: it was uh, patents. Uh, we apply with this startup to the patents and uh, patent, and it uh, helped us, and uh, uh, it's. Uh, help us to speak to investors, it's, it's help us uh, to be protected and um, from other point of view it's not a panacea. You can get a patent to speak with and uh, but uh, it may not get you anywhere. Um, but I think it's uh, if you start your business, if you start your startup, check the patent patents. Uh, one of options can be if you go to startup accelerator then uh, they will do this job for you but uh, if not, uh, make sure that uh, someone have not yet patented your idea before. 
Otherwise, it can cause you a lot of issues afterwards. Um, the next lesson was uh, growing the user base. And um, I think it's no doubt it's a really great challenge uh, how you get people in. You have super great uh, application. So what? So how, how you get people shared uh, about your application, start using it? So, and I think even today, you have so many, uh, so many great products with uh, so many viral marketing everywhere. How you get through this uh, with your product? In our case, we was uh, thinking about communities. Uh, for example, if it was a, sp a sport, uh, uh, if, for, for example, with gym, we created a partnership program and uh, we give affiliate, we give a percentage uh, from the business and uh, we go to the gym and uh, sign up with them partnership program. We put a banner, we put it on TV, the uh, advertisement of us and every, every customer who sign up <coughs> with them will, uh, he, he will get some commission for it. So this is one of the way of doing things, but uh, I'm sure you'll find your way, but uh, so it's a big, big, uh, interesting topic. <laughs> but um, I think uh, whenever you do a partnership program, uh, an affiliate program, uh, I think it's a key uh, system and uh, you should have it uh, from day one or start to get it uh, integrated into your system. There are some available, open, open source and commercial and so on. Okay, that was about uh, targeted marketing. Now next is a uh, social network. Uh, does anyone remember one OV? All right. So when I joined, uh, it's not uh, it's not my startup. It's uh, but I joined and I really enjoyed the startup and uh, have so many lessons learned out of it. And. Um, Yes, if you don't know, it's uh, one of we become a platform of Adnaklasniki and uh, actually it's really, cr uh, cr really cool and uh, um, and it just, uh, it's hard to believe that uh, such a big system is uh, IT headquarters was for a long time was in uh, Riga. Uh, so here a little bit how it was growing and I wish your startup grow as well, as fast. <coughs> In 2007, it started some 2005, 2006, and uh, it's here is a graph for daily uh, daily users uh, growing, but in numbers it was uh, 20 millions of registered customers at, at that time, and it was growing from 5 to 20, 20 million customers registered. And uh, on this graph you can see how it was growing in a daily unique uh, visitors, and uh, if in 2007, 6 it was 100,000 of visits. Uh, then in 2010, 11, it become 8 million unique customers visit daily. Just imagine how many people go and open the site, interacting with each other, sending messages, pictures, cats. So just, just think about it. what is a lot is it? And uh, yeah, it's, uh, today it's uh, rated as a top 10 uh, uh, world social network and uh, actually top 10 uh, brand in Russia and top 10 social network in the world. And uh, if you speak about uh, Russian uh, CIC, uh, CIS region, it is uh, uh, still number one, number two, we're fighting with uh, Kontakte. Okay, some lesson learned. <coughs> uh, I want to speak about time to market. Uh, I think it's a key for any entrepreneur and uh, if you are going to create your own startup you are probably an entrepreneur and, uh, and you or at least in a heart or you will become one because otherwise it's no sense to do startup if you're not entrepreneur and uh, the key is always time to market I can get best product for example I have water but I am in a perfect island for a lot of water around who needs my water no one if I'm with this water I'm in desert who needs the water? Okay, so, but it might be that it's, uh, it's out of the city and no one needs my water again. So for a good product, it's a good time and place. And uh, now about Sadnaklasniki. It's, it's a very interesting story. Um, there is an uh, Estonian investment uh, bank called Elashvi, a punk investment bank, and it was founded one company 
uh, two companies in Riga actually. One was uh, 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 called Vida Infra, and they had an uh, interesting portal called uh, Puchel V. Do anyone remember this? Mm -hmm. All right, it was early, early stages of internet, and uh, this site was giving jokes, um, giving um, uh, s cinema what to see, theaters what, where to go, and uh, some other spatial events, uh, some DJs coming to the club, so we're promoting this kind of stuff and having jokes, so people was coming visiting this portal. This was kind of long time ago, and the guys have so many visits. They have, it's all, it was so popular. When they call a party and say, guys, let's have a Puchel V party in a forum, in a forum disco, and they, so many people come in. So <coughs> at that time, we had a community. They could become social network. We could become uh, Yelp, any other site. It could worth millions and millions today. So, and they decided just to go to other direction. We decided to go to the banks, financials, and it's, uh, today is a still great company, and I, I love them, and I love what they do, but uh, it was opportunity. But maybe they was too early with their idea and with, with their product. So we switched, we, we switched to something else. One OV started uh, his social network one year uh, when we have already Draugim OV, was already on the market, it was popular. So if you are one year late, with a project, does it make any sense uh, to do your business? Okay, these guys did. So you know, it's become one OV, it's become, uh, it's become Adnaklasniki. So well done. Monetization is very, really, really interesting. It's still, I am, I am still, don't believe it, honestly. You get uh, pixels on a, on a monitor and people are willing to pay money more than real flowers cost. So it's just, it just amazing. Okay, so it's, it's still great, but uh, this is how it works. <laughs> Have you anyone uh, sent virtual gift? Okay. <laughs> it's, 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 it's nice. So I, I'm also a fan of uh, uh, virtual uh, gifts and it uh, can drive your business even, it's not connected to a social network. You can always create some ideas with uh, virtual uh, products. Uh, but guys, don't forget to give uh, to your girlfriends uh, real flowers as well. It makes sense. Okay, lesson two. Uh, big lot and big data. So everyone speak about big data, but no one's seen big data. So this company's seen big data and, uh, and a big lot. It's not exactly a picture of that uh, hosting, but uh, it's Preliminary same amount of a service serving uh, Adna Klasniki today. Guys, it's crazy. This is the lot. <coughs> okay, one more interesting lesson. Uh, it's about uh, business analysis. And uh, I, I, I may say you that uh, it makes sense to any, any single company, any single product, whatever you do. Um, what does it mean? If we speak about, um, uh, for example, load, how, how fast it's generating. This uh, monitoring and the business analysis can give you where you have a problems, what you have to address. If some of your servers or some of your KPI business activities drop down, uh, if something happened wrong, you have to escalate it, you have to go to find the reason why it's happened. And uh, uh, this kind of analytics uh, can help you to find the reason. And these analytics have to be very easily accessible. You have to understand and be able to compare with uh, yesterday, with last week, last month, because on the loan, this statistic does not give you any sense. Just imagine you take small, small portion, it's going down. For example, take one hour performance of your KPI, it's going down. What does it mean? Wow, it's a panic, we are down. If you take it longer, one day you see, ah, okay, it was down at night and it's going up at the, at, uh, during the day, fine. So if you take it uh, further, we take m one month, you may find out, oh, it was so small fr frustration in the beginning and now it's so big and uh, we have to grow our business. So it's not one chart, your fa you can take your favorite chart, look at it, but uh, have a helicopter view, go around, explore, find out how they can compare data, how different sources of data you can get. So be creative, be artist, artist with the statistics and can give you really great results. 
Another source uh, for the big companies uh, uh, like uh, social network and uh, for us in evolution gaming is uh, to plan uh, new features. Okay, you have a great idea. It's kind of for developers to implement fast this idea. Okay, one week, great. And, uh, but to run this feature, you may need uh, 10, 20 servers to be installed. So you have to think it about it as well. You have to learn when you launch new feature, how much uh, new feature costs you in, uh, in the performance of your servers, how your system is optimized, how many servers you need to run your business. And you have to think it in advance because the, because the day you run this feature, it's already too late. And uh, of course, there are many techniques how to do it smart way. You, you do it uh, your beta testing. You have it separated by the clusters. And uh, instead of rolling out your update to all the system, you're rolling out to one cluster. So if I believe it uh, still make, makes sense to all the big organizations and the big companies who who processing a lot of transactions. And the uh, Pareto principle. Anyone know what is a Pareto? Oh, OK, cool. It's called. Uh, 2080. Uh, um, regarding uh, the features and regarding the bugs, there always will be a huge amount of bugs, huge amount of features that you want to implement. You have to find your best uh, principle of implementing 20 of them, top, top important of them, and it will generate you 80% of the business of, and give you 80% of a solution. So it's much about priority and choose, choose smart. Prioritize it so that you find your 20%, and this 20% will give you 80% of benefit. So remaining 80% of effort will drive you and give you only additional 20%. So, okay, this was. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, do you have any questions at this point? Okay. Yes, I have. Okay. Uh, how did they transfer the business? Well, actually, one hour they changed the market. The one hour was yep. uh, Latvian market, they changed in the to Russia. It's okay. It's not the Latvian market, they, they say it's probably very good. Yeah, it's uh, replaced. Yeah, it's actually like how, how did they, or you just don't, don't know how to, how to get to this big market? Because Latvia, it's like KVB. Yeah. Well, this story is quite interesting, and you can uh, actually find a lot of answers, uh, not a lot, but some answers, what's happened. It was as investment called DST, uh, who also has the shares of Mail.ru, and uh, it was long, long-term uh, strategic investments of uh, other big, big uh, companies. So it's not actually uh, one of we managed to do it, but it managed to do it with uh, Estonian Investment Bank and uh, with uh, Russian investment uh, funds money called uh, Digi Digital Sky Technologies uh, Investments. Did I answer your question? <laughs> okay. okay, we can talk it offline. Uh, we tried it, actually it was in Denmark, uh, we tried it in Denmark, we tried it in Latvia, we tried it in Germany. Um, honestly, we fail. <laughs> so it happens. <laughs> I started many startups and fail many of them. <laughs> so it's no problem to fail a startup. But, uh, what's the trouble of getting clients? Yes, it's uh, mainly was uh, to getting uh, clients, then to catch up with technology, to get the people, you're late with your investment, and then you're late with your customers, you need a lot of money to do your marketing, and uh, it's <laughs> and okay. <laughs> okay, our answer to Von Bismarck is, uh, if you think, uh, learn from other mistakes, so we do it our mistakes five, six times, just to make sure. Okay, next uh, startup. It was really interesting journey. Uh, in uh, 2012, I went uh, to Garage 48. Uh, this is a startup hackathon. That time it was in Valmira, and I joined as a visionary entrepreneur and project manager. Um, no one signed up with my idea, but I signed up for and helped uh, guys uh, with this sign up. And uh, 
the idea was uh, to have some way on a map to show or on a picture or, or any other way like Google, Google Earth to showing uh, additional information what you can obviously make money on like rent a, rent a hotel, you know how much it costs, special offers in restaurant uh, or, a, or a special meals, so it's also quite interesting. And uh, we transformed this idea to, uh, not to map, but uh, I as a, as a fan of uh, mobile phones, and I, I love this uh, gesture swipe, it's just, you know, just so lovely, I can do it all night, just swiping, and uh, an idea was uh, to, to have a big picture, a little information, and uh, basically single action, you just can swipe and discover what is around you, and if you swipe down, you can choose wherever you want, you want to go to a restaurant, you want to find a hotel, or what exactly you want. And uh, you can fine tune this filter, and uh, at the afterwards it scans all around you, and they just swipe it and they learn with a simple picture. So this was the idea. We don't pretend it's a super great idea, but uh, I think in general it's a quite nice uh, approach to have a big picture, little information, and uh, this is what we all love. Okay. <coughs> Uh, the lesson learned from this, uh, the start hub, startup hackathon, it's uh, really, really great and uh, it's just amazing. It was, just imagine, 48 hours, okay? It's two days. You, you are not connected, you, you can take it in, it's, and it's uh, on, on weekend, it's fine. You don't need to take uh, vacation at your work, you just can go where and try it yourself. It's a really amazing experience and um, and in these two days, you get a working prototype, just from nothing, just from pure idea. You get a team, you, you hire a team, and you get the working prototype. And you already speak to some preliminary uh, investors. It's not yet maybe uh, uh, angels, but uh, still you speak with the people and they can drive a fuser. You just try out. It's like your small startup accelerator in two days. It's a really, really a great, amazing experience. Um, the other lesson was uh, prepare your demo and uh, have a backup and uh, have your backup, uh, record your video, uh, print it and uh, have, have double notebook, whatever you can do. Have your uh, so prepare your backup, whatever can go on your demo will go wrong. You will not have Wi-Fi, your laptop battery will die, something will happen, honestly. Anyway, it's, uh, usually it happens. So. Uh, wherever you do your start startup, you need to do a lot of demo and uh, prepare your demo in advance and uh, make uh, some recordings that you can show it offline. Another lesson um, uh, with this startup, we tried uh, to use uh, hybrid HTML5 and the phone gap uh, to, to get uh, us a real uh, application. But uh, unfortunately, HTML5 and hybrid, it's not exactly the UI you expect from smartphone. It's still lagging. It's still, I of course, today it's getting, getting better and better. And uh, it can emulate, but it's still not uh, native app. So if you can do native app, native app is still better than uh, HTML5. If you cannot do na uh, native app, then okay, HTML5 is a good, fast choice. And uh, this particular startup, uh, again, maybe it was not super great, but it's easy come, it's easy go. So it was very, very hard to keep uh, its moving fuser. After, uh, after a month, two months, we meet with the team. Uh, we was all busy with our ongoing work and uh, slowly, slowly, slowly going down, going nowhere and saying, guys, just busy, not interested, that's it. Um, and to answer this, uh, if you do start your startup and you really believe in it, I think it's uh, good to, to take a focus on it and uh, maybe it's a good idea to take it first and go to a startup accelerator or incubator programs. Then it will really you understand your startup worth anything or not. Okay, so if you don't make mistakes, uh, the second time it's become a choice. <coughs> okay, one more startup and um, from the social games and the games. Uh, uh, it's, uh, I started in 2009. I was a manager and the founder of this uh, 
<coughs> company and uh, the social network started to grow and uh, you see there are a lot of potentials and a lot of money. It was hard to believe that uh, virtual uh, money can make a lot of money, but it's true. And uh, Zynga Poker was one of the first successful um, demo of, of how uh, fun game can make uh, really big money, which was turning uh, in a millions of revenue monthly. Just imagine, millions of months, uh, million monthly as a revenue in the beginnings. Right now, we're even earning even more. So I was a fan of uh, poker and uh, I love the game and I wanted to start the game studio and I do games. And uh, why I choose the poker? Because uh, again, I, like, I love it. I saw it was great uh, on a Facebook and uh, it was not present in a, uh, in a Russia, in a Russian uh, social networks, not on the classic, not on contact. And I wanted to get uh, started with this great project and then uh, do other great games. Um, so what I learned from that startup, uh, we built a prototype and then we start with we need uh, to go and put it and start marketing and uh, start in big and uh, make it our product finalized, polished and uh, be ready to taking a uh, big load. So I have to go to find uh, angel investors, venture capitalists, uh, uh, venture funds and the seed funds uh, trying to, to raise the money actually. and. Um, uh, I meet a lot of people and uh, <coughs> for what I found out that uh, twist at that time it was hard uh, to, to show to the people what it does, why the social network, why the fun money can make uh, real money, why this project is, uh, makes sense. And um, so it was uh, very, very challenging and uh, uh, I didn't manage to find uh, good money, which I, I accept conditions as well, because if you speak uh, about many of a venture capitalist, uh, for example, in Riga, they all would like to have uh, half of your business before investing even 100,000. So, and uh, you don't know what this venture capitalist will do. They may say, okay, I, have your I gave you money, now it's my product, but uh, after half year or one year we say, you think, okay, we are ready, this is a product, let's go, we need money, as we agree, and we can say, listen, no, I don't give you money. So this is what can happen, and uh, uh, if you're, what I want to say, when you find investor, it's uh, more important to have a mentor, to have uh, people who really understand this business, who are willing to proceed themselves on this uh, market or this business, then uh, these people as a mentors, they can help you. And the mentoring uh, means more than just the money because money on itself, it's, uh, uh, it can be too little. Uh, another thing was uh, collaboration. And uh, um, I was sharing my idea. I speak to so many people uh, and I got really great ideas back to me. And uh, even I didn't manage to go with, with a social net to the social network I, I got one guy saying, okay, uh, I do, I'm not interested in your social thing, but I need a real uh, poker with a live uh, dealer. So it's totally completely different product. So we want to have a live dealer dealing the cards and uh, then we, want, and we ho want to play real money and we want this kind of poker. Can you do this platform? And I say, yes, because we already have this poker. And we sign up and started another project. And uh, so uh, be ready for business transformation as well. And uh, as I told, uh, collaboration is a key. Uh, speak to many people and uh, be ready to transform your business. And um, I was actually really happy. It was a good one. And uh, it's let me meet with, with also with uh, great companies like uh, Play Playtech and Evolution Gaming with uh, top management. And uh, so it was a uh, very in interesting uh, how, where it uh, drives me. Okay, another session, section break. <coughs> and I finish with uh, my startup uh, overview. And, and I would like to give a uh, uh, little, little more about the toolbox and the, some tools that uh, uh, you may find uh, useful. You may already use them. But um, I think they're really great. It will be short, it's just five slides left, so we're just almost over. 
uh, one page pitch. This is a uh, really great. At, uh, at my time in the two year 2005, I was writing uh, business plan plans of uh, 1500 pages long. It's a crazy. You, you have to learn all this math, how to do it, uh, how to prove it. And right at the end, 100 pages. Imagine, this is enough. Honestly, you speak uh, about your problem. You speak about your solution. You give uh, who is your target market. You give your financial projections, you give your milestones, and you say uh, who is the people behind you. And just, just to know, uh, the investors invest money not into the product, they invest into the people. Okay, another great one is uh, Trello. Um, I'm a big fan of Jira, and Jira is, uh, if you speak about 10, uh, 10 players, it's uh, still great. It can you give you a uh, git and can, can give you a board. You can create your task and uh, to manage it. But if you need a bigger scale, you need uh, to be distributed and you need to interact with a lot of people around the world. Trail is great and uh, it's get promised by uh, it get get promised that it will get stay uh, free forever. It's not freemium. It's a uh, honestly old known well free. Okay, another one really great. Uh, Lean Canvas. I use it at my work at Evolution to plan a new project. It's uh, really helping me. It's not only for the startups. It's not only for the new projects, even for new features. It's really great uh, uh, way how to put things. Uh, originally, it was called uh, uh, Business uh, Canvas. And it's get transformed to Lean Canvas, which uh, suits uh, startups idea more. So you speak about problem. List your top three problems. You speak about your customer seg segment, for whom this uh, uh, pro uh, problem is uh, important. You, you, you show your solution, what you can do for them. Then uh, you have to define very simple what is your uh, unique value proposition. What you're doing today, what no any, any other doing. Without it, if it's so many copies in the world, what, what, what is the sense to do your startup? Then uh, channel, how you, how, you, how you go into market your product. And how, how you get your new customers. Then uh, key metrics, uh, how, you, how you measure how you're doing your business. Is it uh, sign-ups? Is it money? It's not always only money. It can be different uh, key metrics you have to define how you measure your uh, progress of your startup. Yeah, and uh, then cost structure, how much it costs you and uh, uh, what is the revenue streams potential it can bring you? And uh, here is the uh, same uh, Lean Canvas, just giving you idea and recommendation how, how to fill this uh, sheet. Uh, sheet in a bed, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so some of startups may, may end uh, at this stage. So if you do your homework, start with this simple page, you may find out all oh, right, I won't do it. Or uh, you find opposite, you find so much energy, so it's so great, I know what I'm doing and it can help you. So it's another way, don't do 100 pages startup. If you have MBA, forget about it. Start with this one. Goo, I didn't know. <laughs> it's really cool. Uh, actually, yes, for your comment, uh, I was in a, it's a back to Adnaklasnik, I was actually a question in my experience. Uh, I studied in Riga Technical University, uh, bachelor, and then it was a master degree. And uh, over time I was a manager and, uh, speak and doing a lot of international businesses and uh, speaking to a lot of customers and developers. And I was thinking, why we study in university something that no one use, use in the world? It was so strange why it's they still have pascal basic some 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 topics what no one uh, need in a, this world and um uh the class it was interesting but, but, it, but it's, uh, i start to know what's you uh the graphs theory do you know the graph theory it's really uh, it's really crazy it's uh, so mathematician but it's uh, really get used in a social network in artificial intelligence uh, it's a great use of uh, university subject and another subject was fast algorithms, uh, also great uh, uh, 
uh, great subject in the university. Okay, uh, startup accelerators. If you can run with your own money, family money, this is really great. But uh, startup accelerator, I think it really makes sense. And uh, uh, you, you can get the mentors, you can get the people who are helping you, you get focused on your product, and uh, you can easily find uh, uh, investors for your product. So this is a really great way. And uh, just uh, what is around us, uh, Riga, one is a startup sauna, which is really, really great. Everyone wants to get there because uh, they got zero equity. So mean, uh, if some venture funds want 50% of your business or more, these guys uh, don't take anything from you. So there are wise guys in uh, Tallinn. Uh, there is a startup uh, highway in Lithuania. We have a tech, tech hub in Riga, which is really great at, uh, and can help you. It's not actually an accelerator, but uh, uh, it can still, it's a good, uh, good way to, to start with. And there are some few in Poland, and uh, originally Igor Combinator and the Tech Stars uh, was the first startup accelerator program, and they are still very active and uh, going big. This is uh, big guys, and uh, if your startup is really great, it's, uh, it's good to be there. Um, just a short sum up and take away. Um, even there are some startups in the market already, uh, it's never late. So you can start with your startup, similar idea, transform it, get better. I, I heard so many startups which idea was so old, but it's transformed to a really great uh, business today. And uh, we may say even all the business, was, what is created today is kind of transformation of all existing ideas. So you all know these ideas and uh, just, uh, you can ju just start them. And um, when is the end of startup? Actually, sta startups never ends, and the startup ends when you decide it's ended, which happens with uh, your question, SMS uh, gateway uh, thing. Uh, it's uh, end up because we decided to stop doing it. That's it. It could be potentially transformed to application, to Facebook thing, to it's whatsoever. It's a lot of ways to how it could continue, actually. Uh, just start. Keep focused and uh, build minimal viable prototype. Uh, find for your product a mentor or a go to startup accelerator. It's uh, worth more than money. And uh, collaborate and share with others. Don't try to hide your ideas. I have so great ideas. And uh, just speak to the people, share your ideas. You find out you, you can only find partners. You can say, oh, I have the same idea. I have this technology. Let's do it together. So this is a way how to, to win, to have a win-win. Otherwise, if you do it for yourself, after work, so on the weekend, sometimes, well, you might get s somewhere, but uh, if you want to get big, big get, get big fast. And uh, that's it. And uh, I'm really uh, happy to be in Riga, and uh, happy that uh, such a big company uh, started in Riga and uh, doing uh, great business, doing, uh, we have uh, great technologies, we have great people, I believe uh, in Riga, and uh, we as a small company, a small city, can, can do big things. Thank you. <laughs> both, honestly, both. I started myself, and I and I joined. Both. It means some startups I created, some startups I joined. So it means don't limit yourself. You can join startup, and you can create your own startup. So it's fine. If you like the idea, just join it. If you like the people to work with, so whatever, it's a yours or. A you join in the beginning and get equity of a company. And sometimes you may find out that uh, starting your own business and own 100% of something small or uh, have uh, something small of something very, really, really big. Can be a big difference. Make 
Uh, so do you, do you think how 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 to to be <laughs> employee? Working, uh, how okay. My employer, I'm working, I'm getting my salary, and I have an idea, and, and yeah. I'm starting to develop some when uh, what's the moment when in average uh, people should just leave their work and start doing it really on full time. Uh, when you feel confidence, the moment you believe in the startup, because. I believe if you do it uh, on in evenings, in a, in, a, in a holidays, it does not really make sense. You don't get anywhere actually. Far. You may you might get, but uh, it's very very hard. If you believe in your startup and you believe it's hundred percent, or if, if even it's not hundred percent, it's better start it, do it, understand it, quit your startup, and get back to your job. So I would I would say maybe this, this is the answer. So if you start trying to share your work and the startup, you probably will do it not good at work, you will not do it good at the startup. But uh, uh, if you like startups, this can be a new project in your company and you're with your employee, why not? It could be also an interesting startup. And uh, decisions and agreements can be different with the employee. You can get even funded by your employee. Yeah, uh, actually, it's uh, it is uh, well known for a long time. It's entrepreneurship, so it's uh, how to start a business. Why it's called uh, and become popular startups be because it's become easier today. You, you do you have a better definition for a startup? But it's a beginning of a business, beginning of a entrepreneurship. If you start your any business, not obligatory IT, not obligatory hardware related, any business, you start a shop, it's a startup. So it's a kind of start of any business. Yeah. Okay. Any more questions? Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.